you had to track the, the level, the amount of the complexity of regulation on a scale of minus five to plus five, minus five things are too lax, plus five things are too strict, where would you place the, reg the regulations as they are at the moment? I think that John is looking at me. <laughs> uh, he's, I was just told to say good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's not a question of whether it's strict or lax. I think what matters essentially at the end of the day is how much of the environment that you know where the mines are located and you're bringing into Singapore, how much of that is actually uh, uh, put through to the investors in order that they fully understand, you're properly disclosed, and that if there are issues with title, you've dealt with it, and if there are potential risks, how you deal with those risks. Um, I, I wouldn't say that the Singapore regulations are any more stricter than uh, any, any stricter than, for example, uh, uh, the exchanges elsewhere. What matters is really getting the regulators to understand what's involved, what the regulations say, and how you can ensure that investors and the investments in this country are well protected, and that if it uh, if it requires litigation or dispute resolution to basically enforce the right, what kind of a risk you be running into, and how you can effectively. Uh, get out of uh, the particular jurisdiction if, if push comes to shove. Let, let me rephrase the question, perhaps. Uh, do you think that they are adequate? If you ask me, I think uh, they are they're more than adequate, really, because you just about, if you have looked at the SGX and some of the recent listings, they just about uh, want to understand just about everything uh, that uh, you're looking at. And, and very often, I think for us who are working with companies, we are, we've come to a point of almost exasperation where we've just about tried to explain in the simplest of terms, and yet we're still having a thousand one questions coming from Chong Lake. So, <laughs> so we're still yeah, trying to work my way with him. Okay, um, I, I think uh, the, the, the real mantra is when we look at listing companies, we want good management and good assets. And, but very specifically for mining companies, you have this question of jurisdiction as well. So if it's from a jurisdiction where we, we, uh, you know, the market has plenty of exposure to, then naturally I think it's something that people understand better. Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, China, okay, Australia, the US. But the question always comes for emerging markets which are new. And in, in that case, it's really about understanding what those risks are, what the local regulations are and the laws are, and being able to translate that into something which is more familiar to the Singapore regulator and the Singapore investors. And I think that is as appropriate as it can get. Cool. So, so the bottom line is, can investors trust the companies? Once they've published the prospectus, all of the risks are disclosed, and I mean, are you, do you have a level of, of confidence that every piece of information that an investor could possibly want is out there? The process of listing a company in Singapore is, is generally very robust. I mean, you look at the work of the professionals, uh, the auditors, the, the, the council involved, and uh, the people involved. It's generally in keeping or in line with international standard. But as with many companies elsewhere, a lot of the information is also dependent on what the management will tell you. And, 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 and you're only as good as the honesty and integrity of the information that is given to you. When, when you're looking at risk, is there one thing that you'd put your finger on and say, make sure it's got this or make sure it doesn't have that? If you had to sum up your years of experience. Well, yeah, again, in, in valuing any kind of project and by valuing, I'm referring to the small E side, is that you know, it really comes down to being able to get you know, a good sense of the quality of the team that's involved. That, that includes everything from the sponsor to the legal to the um, independent technical review um, and, if you will, the quality of the asset right down to management. It's, I, I don't think there's one thing that you can say, oh, that stands out, so therefore I'm going to jump at it. I think, like anything, it's, it's buyer beware, and you just simply need to have the ability to, to look through um, each and in individual perspectives to make sure that, that you, you do see quality there and nothing stands out as a bit, you know. It's, if something smells bad, there's probably something wrong with it. Okay. Yeah. Bunan, uh, looking at a prospectus, which is the most important section for you? Well, I think, I think the, the initial judgment, the early judgment about proposal is key to determining whether or not this is going to stick with you and going to be a successful project or just something which is a flash in the pan and just be wasting your time. So in evaluating that uh, proposal, the initial proposal that comes to you, you have to ask yourself this question, how did this project come about? Who are the, who are the supporters behind it? What's the history? And, uh, and where is this mine or concession located? Is this something that the SGX is comfortable with? Now, if a guy comes to you out of the blue and says, I've got a mining concession, say, in uh, 
in, 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 a, in a strange country and, and he wants to go ahead and raise money in IPO to basically exploit it. Uh, I think you tend to be a lot more careful than if somebody came with uh, five years of work and he has a team of engineers supporting him and in a jurisdiction that you're quite comfortable with, with, uh, with enough money spent in to the project and, and therefore raising money to actually further expand on this. In, immediately you know that this is something you can do business with as opposed to somebody who basically is just a flash in the pan and, and, and therefore you can just take your assessment as it comes.